Hi, this is Maji Noni, and here's my pull list for uh, March, what is it, March 3rd, uh, 2008, or sorry, March 2nd, 2011. Now, this was actually a fairly decent sized week, I guess you can say, and I picked up another trade. Uh, first up is, I picked up the Fear Itself sketchbook. It's basically just a free uh, handout, which just basically hypes up Fear Itself. Pretty much it contains nothing that we really haven't seen that much, or seen too much already. Anyways, there's that. Uh, first up is Avengers Academy number 10. I'm surprised that it has still not um, made it to my drop list yet. So hopefully this uh, book will continue to be good. Uh, next up is The Annihilators, uh, number one of four. Now, when I see this cover, all I'm thinking of is winning, because this is going to be an awesome book. And at the end, there's a Rocket Raccoon backup feature. So, like, if you go to the store and you see, wow, this book is really thick, well, it's because there's two stories in one. And there's the Thunderbolts with the man thing. I'm really curious to see where the direction is going to go with this one. Uh, so hopefully this one will be good. And uh, this is a prime example of somebody who's got um, dragon, I'm sorry, uh, tiger blood inside of it. Uh, next up is Freedom Fighters, number seven. So we still have that continuing story, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, Batman Beyond, uh, number three. Which I thought this was like a kind of like a cool cover. It kind of has a lot of movement to it, but we'll see how it turns out. Uh, Green Lantern, number 63. Um, prologue, uh, War of uh, Green Lantern. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm. Part of me is so burned out with Green Lantern right now that I'm not really excited about this anymore. And you know, I, I just kind of want this over. So I'm glad this is a short war. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, this cover when I first saw it, I was like, wow. But then. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't really impress me anymore because, you know, this really hasn't shown me anything that I haven't seen before. And it's just a stereotypical type cover, so we'll see. Then we have DC Universe Online Legends, uh, number three. Like I said, this is just your throwaway title for me. Uh, if it's good, it's good. Hopefully it'll be good. But uh, you, how can you be a Wonder Woman with a sword about the kill somebody type thing cover. So this is going to be good. Uh, Brightest Day, number 21, World of, world on War. Uh, this is a prime example of somebody who needs to have um, Adonis DNA inside of them. Because uh, obviously you can tell he's Martian Manhunter is not coming out of this pretty well. And then we got The Boys, number 52. This is another title. Well, I do like it. It's really starting to bore me, so I don't know if I'm going to continue it. And what's this one called? Carbon Carbon Gray. Uh, I really like the cover. I thought this character design was awesome. And uh, I figured, alright, I'll get to number one issue. I'll give it a try. Um, the art looked kind of decent, so I'm really hopeful. And besides, you know, there's a, how can you beat girls with sword type things in their hands. Can't really beat things like that. So we'll see. This is my joke title. Uh, G.I. Joe Infestation. Uh, this is the one where um, G.I. Joe and Cobra fight zombies. So uh, we'll see what happens. Luckily it's only two issues so it's not like um, what we can say, should we say, not like too much damage can be done to my brain cells by reading this. And G.I. Joe Cobra number three. This trade, I am so looking forward to reading it. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy uh, G.I. Joe Cobra. It's it, This is not, like, I keep saying this, this is not your average G.I. Joe title. This is more geared towards a mature reader. This is not for kids. Like, even the art style inside, it's not, you know, like, kid-like. Uh, you know, people are getting killed. Uh, you have, like, some torture. Uh, it's... It's a little bit more intense, I guess you can say, just a little bit. And this is the issue, I guess, that they're bringing in Serpentor. So, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. Um, 
So anyways, that's my uh, comic book list. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'll rate the video up or down, and let me know what you think. And um, I'm curious to know what's on your pull list. Uh, what book are you going to be reading first? Uh, for me, it's going to be simple. It's going to be Annihilators. I'm reading Annihilators first. Uh, so uh, let me know, and um, I'll have reviews up as soon as I can. i got some personal stuff going on right now, so I don't know... I don't know, part, it's either going to be, re, next reviews are going to go either really quickly, or they're going to be really painful to get them done, so um, I'm hoping that things will go pretty quick. Uh, so anyways, that's this, and um, until next time.